I know what you're thinking, that man has lost so much weight since the last video. And it's true, I feel as if I've lost about three stone. Thing is, I've only been fasting since this morning. It's Ash Wednesday, of course, one of the two days of fast and abstinence that we Catholics mark during Lent. The other is Good Friday. The season of Lent has begun, and so we mark it by the whole church coming together in a single act of penance and sacrifice. Today, we all fast by eating just one meal and perhaps two small snacks to keep us going, and we abstain from eating meat altogether. I don't know about you, but even though it's only a few hours already, I feel like I'm being starved to death. Of course, I'm not at all. Fasting like this for just one day isn't that much of a hardship for any of us, especially if you're built like me. In fact, cutting down for a day will probably do us some good. But although we have only two days of full fasting and abstinence, the Church encourages us to do something along these lines all through Lent. In fact, that's probably the first thing we think about when someone mentions Lent. Going off something for the six weeks. Sweets, crisps, biscuits, alcohol, TV, smoking or sugar in your tea. Going off the things that we regard as a wee treat is almost part and parcel of being Catholic. But why do it? Why do we put ourselves through it each year? Well, from earliest times, humans have used fasting as a way to make sacrifice to God, to show that we're sorry for our sins. We'll find people fasting in sorrow all through the Old Testament. We also find people fasting in preparation for a holy event. Jesus himself fasted for 40 days in the wilderness before he began his ministry. And that's the inspiration for our 40 days or so of Lent, fasting before we celebrate the death and resurrection of the Lord at Easter. When we fast, we give up something good as a gift to God, a sign of our love. It's a sacrifice, something that God always appreciates. It's an act of purification too, cutting out all the self-indulgence to remind us of what's really important. It's a form of discipline as well. When we commit to fasting and we try our best, we're improving our self-control. That will help us when we're tempted to do the wrong thing. And when we fast, we're also reminded that many millions of people are hungry all the time and that they need our support and our prayer. In that way, fasting is an act of solidarity with the poor. And fasting is also a very powerful form of prayer. Jesus fasted when he prayed for any length of time. And he told his disciples that certain evil spirits can only be driven out by prayer and fasting. Fasting supercharges our normal prayer and takes it up a whole other gear. And the funny thing is, fasting has never been so popular. Maybe not for religious reasons, but if you look at the internet, you'll find thousands of articles and videos promoting fasting for health benefits and for weight loss. You'll have heard of the 5-2 diet, 16-8 fasting or intermittent fasting. You know what? The church has been well ahead of them for centuries. Let's keep going with our fasting and our abstinence today and on Good Friday too. Unless we're very young, very old or not too well at the moment, we should all make the effort. And for the rest of Lent, let's keep that spirit going. Fast maybe once or twice a week, or perhaps make a real effort to go off something meaningful and keep off it for these six weeks. It will seem like hard work at times, but it'll be worth it. We'll be healthier in body and soul and closer to Jesus too. So as Lent begins, I wish you good luck, God bless, and keep on with the fasting. There's only a few more hours left of Ash Wednesday, I hope.